Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Analytics About and today we are going to discuss uh, window functions in Tableau and in particular we are going to take the example of Max and Window Max in order to demonstrate the difference between a simple aggregate function for example maximum or a minimum or an average in Tableau versus a window max or a window min or a window average or a window correlation in Tableau. So for demonstration purposes, we have got a mini table here that, that contains around seven records from the month of March to September of 2021 and the corresponding sum of sales in USD million dollars. So the way that a simple aggregation function, so for example, max in this case uh, will work is that it's going to take the maximum of all the records that are present in the uh, data set or in the table. So in this case, your answer is going to be $420 million because that is the highest uh, sum of sales across all of the records that is present in the data set. Whereas in a min window max function, you can actually define the range within which you are looking to find the maximum or the uh, maximum or the minimum or any of those uh, parameters. So for example, suppose I just want the maximum among these records. So I can do a window max function here and the, I can calculate a window max of all these uh, one, two, three, and four, four records. And my answer would be uh, 390 as compared 390 because the maximum among these four uh, records is actually 390. So your max is going to return, your max for this table would actually be 420, whereas your window max for this uh, from record number two uh, to record number five is going to be 390. Now uh, let's go into the syntax and also the way that Tableau defines it after having understood the concept. So uh, let's kind of uh, see how Tableau defines uh, max and window max. So Tableau defines it as returning the maximum of a single expression across all of the records. So the point to be noted is across all of the records. And another way that max is also used is that you can use it to compare two expressions. So for example, you can have max of minus two and three. So that is another way that you can use the max function. Note that it is for a single expression, which means that max cannot work over an aggregation function because max is an aggregation function and it is unable to aggregate over an aggregate function. Window max on the other hand, uh, returns the maximum of the expression within a window. And as we have just seen that we can kind of custom define our window. And the syntax for that is that we can use offsets from the current row. And the current row is always given by an index of zero. Uh, in this case, um, yeah, and uh, it is always given by the index of zero. And we can use first plus n and last minus n for offsets from the first and the last rows of the partition. And if the start and end are omitted, your entire expression will be used. And at that point of time, window max is going to behave same like a max function. So just as an example, if your, star, if your first is defined as minus two and last is defined as zero, which means that uh, what, your window max is going to do is it is going to take the maximum of sales from the previous two rows to the current last row. So that's how uh, a window max function would work. Another point that you need to take in mind is that um, max function is an aggregate function and it cannot cannot work on, on uh, so, uh, other aggregate functions. So for example, you cannot have something like max of average of sales. Uh, this this does not work, but whereas a window max can work on aggregate expression, it works only on aggregate expression. So uh, something like a window max of sales will not work 
because uh, window max needs aggregate expressions uh, in its uh, window max of sales is not going to work this is a wrong thing but window max of average of sales is going to work So now let us just kind of uh, see this intuitively in Tableau. So I'm in the sample superstore data set and we are going to see the difference between a normal aggregation function, for example, uh, max, min, uh, average versus a window max, min or an average function. So what we are going to quickly do is kind of create a calculated field uh, that measures the uh, maximum of all of the records so the way that a max function would work is that it's going to calculate the maximum of all of the records in the year 2018 it's going to calculate maximum of all of the records in year 2019 it's going to calculate all of the maximum of the records in 2020 and finally it's going to calculate all of the records in the year 2021 so uh, we can create a calculated field and uh, in order to kind of uh, just have that we will call it like max of sales and what it's basically going to do is going to uh, calculate the maximum of the sales value across the level of granularity that is there in your view which is the granularity which is the year and it's going to calculate the maximum of sales for each of the years because that is there in our row shelf. So let's just drag right in our maximum of sales and here we go. So we are getting the maximum of sales for each of these years. Now we are going to create another calculated field that uh, demonstrates like uh, how a window function works. So the way that a window function works is that it's going to calculate the uh, uh, the maximum or the minimum or the average between the first and the last index. So currently, as you can see, uh, our first is uh, first is basically the first, which is the first record, and it is year 2018, and uh, the last is uh, year uh, 2021. So it's going to calculate the maximum of sales. Uh, across all of these uh, four uh, years, 2018 to 2021, between the first index and the last index of zero. So uh, let's, uh, I've already created a window max function, but I'm just going to kind of uh, do it again. And uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll call in our window max function. And as you know, the syntax is that you need the maximum of the sales and what you want to do is between the first and the last uh, if you just let it default you will see that it's going to calculate between the first index which is your zero and uh, another which is uh, and your last which is zero and that's what it's going to do uh, so let's just keep it this way and try to drag in our window max function onto our measure values and uh, as you can see window max what it is doing is it is behaving same like max of sales uh, it's uh, uh, your output is the same but what if you wanted to find the window max uh, of uh, just these two records 2019 and 2020 how can you do that so you can kind of uh, create offsets for that and what you can say is that what you now want your first to be actually your 2019. So in order to make it 20, 2019 as zero, you need to add plus one uh, to minus one so that it becomes zero. And similarly, in order for 2020 uh, last to become zero, you have to subtract minus one from a one so that it now becomes the new zero. So I'm just going to implement the same thing here. So I'm going to call in the first function. And since I want your 2019 to be my new zero, I'm going to uh, add, add one to it. And similarly, since I want your 2020 to be my uh, new last zero, I have to subtract minus one. So now my last actually becomes last function uh minus one so i'm gonna and now 
as you can see uh, window max is taking the maximum of these two values which is 6355 17500 now uh, we can try some more variations so suppose we just want the maximum of these three years uh, so our first first is going to be uh, year 2019 so uh, currently first entry is 2018 uh, and what we want to do is kind of make your 2019 to be the first so you have to subtract you have to add a 1 to minus 1 so that this becomes the new 0 and uh, since my last is already year 2020 and I need not do anything to the last and last can be uh, just 0 so we are going to just modify this window max function and uh, your first is going to be your uh, 2019 so that's why we are adding plus 1 there but our last remains the same which is year 2020 so we can just uh, let it uh, let it uh, re remain the way that it is without adding or subtracting anything and as you can see the value does not change because uh, because uh, the range is the same but le let's take another better example uh, suppose uh, we have we want like between your 2018 and uh, say between your 2019 so the way that we are going to do is your 2018 your first is going to remain the same you do not need to add any offset but now your last needs to be uh, your 2019 so in order to uh, kind of have last as zero you need to subtract minus two from that so that uh, your last now uh, your your 2019 now becomes zero and your window is actually from here to this record which is 2019 so between zeros and zeros and let's just hit ok and as you can see it's going to calculate the maximum of these two records which is 22 and 6000 and that's why you're getting a maximum value of 22638 so I hope that uh, you have kind of understood the difference between a max and a window max function we can similarly use that for average or a window average or a window min function and I hope you have uh, some